What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. It's the week end. Excuse me, it's actually the Meek end. Meek Mill is back with his first set of music for 2017. It's a three track EP titled Meek End Music. Not a very creative title, but whatever. It has features from ASAP Ferg and Young Thug. It also serves as a, a present to his fans. Today, Meek Mill turns 30. So happy birthday to Meek. Rather than do a traditional review where I break down the sections and everything, there's only three songs on here, so let's talk about each song just a little bit. The first one is Slay featuring ASAP Ferg. Ferg absolutely owned this song. He owned this honorable C-note produced track. I feel like Ferg is the person that has the charisma um, that matches what you need to bring on a song like Slay versus Meek Mill where he brings the energy but he just doesn't match the charisma. I think Ferg is just way more charismatic. I like the song overall though. I feel like it would be one of those records that Meek Mill does on tour that everybody really gets into. Um, but I do have to give props to Ferg because this was like a really strong showing for him. The second song on the EP is titled Backboard and it features Young Thug. This is another song that just oozes out energy. When you have Meek Mill and Young Thug on the same track, what more can you really expect? I would say that out of the trio of songs on this EP, I felt like this is the weakest out of the bunch. That's in no way saying that it's bad or anything, but I think the other two songs uh, were better in my opinion. At the end of Thug's verse, he rapped, I got me a Draco on the flight. I came out the creek like Dawson. Now I kind of want to have like a sit down, in-depth discussion with Young Thug about Dawson's Creek. Like he always pulls out these random uh, pop culture references and I'm like, damn, I didn't think Young Thug would watch this. He did like a, a, a couple wrestling ones in the past and I'm just like, I can't imagine Young Thug watching wrestling, but it makes sense. A lot of rappers have watched wrestling. But then he pulled out the Dawson's Creek reference and was just like, damn, this is very unexpected. Um, but I really want to know like what he feels about the series. Like, How did he feel when Pacey got Joey over Dawson? That always pissed me off, so I wonder how he felt about it. I'm sure Thug would have a different view about it than I do. The last song on the EP is titled Left Hollywood. With the other two records, you have them custom built for the club scene, for performing, you know, getting turned up, all of that. With Left Hollywood, you have introspective Meek making his return. This is where he really shines bright, like a lighthouse on the night sea. No matter how many times I hear Meek Mill rap about where he came from, what he was doing before rap, I don't feel like it's ever stale. Like, he does it on every project, but I'm still amazed by how vivid he gets, how honest he is. Um, you might not agree with the things that he's done in his life, but you will understand it because he explained himself really well. You can also tell that this joint was created very recently because he references Kodak Black and Kevin Gates, who both uh, were recently convicted for uh, violating house arrest and parole respectively so they they're getting some time for that um but nonetheless i really like introspective meek mill it's like the best out of everything that he does with uh his music in my opinion i'm not blown away by meek and music it's not a bad set of songs but it's nothing that makes me go crazy like i don't feel like these are show-stopping records it's an ep that i listen to today and maybe a couple days in the future but after that i'll probably largely forget about it um if left hollywood happens to come on randomly i'll probably listen to it but the other two records are like i would rather hear them out at a club or being performed live than just sit there and listen to them uh over and over again I do feel like this is just a small taste of what Meek Mill is going to deliver for the rest of 2017. A full length project seems imminent. So those are my thoughts on Meek Mill's Meek and Music EP. Um, after you listen to it, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Which out of the three songs was your favorite? Um, then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video. 
Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.